We start game one in the bottom of the first with this hit by Ozzy Albi that skips right over to the left field wall. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know what that means, a ground rule double. This puts a man in scoring position for the Braves early in the game. This leads us straight to the Secunia single that scores Albi from third. Albi reached third from stealing a base, the Braves take a 1-0 lead. Castillo is able to escape this inning with minimal damage due to this beautiful double play executed by none other than Jonathan India. If he keeps on fielding like this, a gold glove might be in his future. In the bottom of the third, Joey Votto decides that India doesn't hold all the gems when it comes to fielding. Votto gets the out with this beautiful snag, the Braves still lead 1-0. This will lead us straight into the bottom of the fourth where after Rosario hits a double, the former red Adam Duvall drives him in despite the best efforts from Mike Moustakas. The Braves extend the lead 2-0. The Reds offense finally decides to wake up in the top of the fifth with this amazing hit by Kyle Farmer. However, Rosario decides to do his best impression of a butcher and beheads all hope of Farmer coming home with this amazing snag that sends him flying into the wall. In the same inning, Aquino, aka the Punisher, decides that he wants to stop doing his daredevil impressions and stops being blind and gets this RBI single. This drove in Nap from second and moves India to third. The Reds strike back. 2-1 Braves. In the bottom of the sixth, Dickerson and Rosario both reach on singles, bringing Admiral Duvall up to bat where he drives in Dickerson with his RBI single. It almost seems like the former Red has a vendetta against his old team in the ownership. <coughs> Fuck Cassiolini. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Braves extend the lead, 3-1. In the bottom of the seventh, Olsen hits this textbook sack fly RBI, extending the lead to 4-1 Braves. With how the Reds' offense has been playing, this seems like an unsurmountable lead for them. Well, there goes India's short but beautiful gold glove campaign, throwing this ball straight over Vado's head and into the dugout, leading to an error that advances all runners. With the runner on second going to third, this scores the runner due to the error. 5-1 Braves. This leads us to the final play of the game where Moustakas flies out. The Braves win 5-1. Start game 2 with a snag in the hot corner that turns into a beautiful double play to end the top of the second. This will lead us straight into the top of the third where Tommy Pham hits his boys Jonathan India and Tyler Naquin in with this monstrous double in the deep left field. Naquin reached first with a walk and India reached on a single earlier in the inning. Reds lead 2-0. And with this extra time, I would like to thank everyone that's watching and I'm happy to get to 10 subs. I know it isn't much, but it feels nice. Also, like and subscribe to the video if you enjoy. Thank you. Alright, back to the video. We're going to stay in the top of the third where Tyler Stevenson's hot streak continues with this chopper down the middle that drives Pham in. The score is 3-0, Reds. In the bottom of the fifth, Eric Dickerson hits an absolute cock rocket in deep left field, putting the Braves on the board. The score is 3-1, Reds. We'll jump straight into the bottom of the sixth, where Dunn makes a beautiful snag to get Albies out. Dunn really showed off his fielding capabilities on this one. We're going to stay in the bottom of the sixth, where this Matt Olsen double in the left center makes me say, wow, the drive in Dansby Swanson. Braves get another, this brings the score to 3-2, Reds. Moving right on to the top of the 7th, Jonathan India sends this one to New Delhi. This gives the Reds a much needed insurance run after their offense has been stagnant for a large majority of this game. This brings the score to 4-2, Red Legs. At the bottom of the 8th, Travis Dearnod hits an absolute missile in the center field for a solo home run. This brings the score to 4-3, Braves. The game's getting really tight here at the end, folks. And finally, in the bottom of the ninth, who else but Adam Duvall? Duvall calls game with this two-run bomb into left field. The Braves win, 5-4. We start game three all the way into the top of the fifth, where Solono drives in Tyler Stevenson, who earlier in this inning hit the first hit of the game for either team. The Reds take the lead, 1-0. Then we're going to jump ahead all the way to the bottom of the seventh, where Matt Olson makes the brave sacrifice to score Dansby Swanson on this sack fry RBI. The Braves strike back, making the score tied at one. In the top of the ninth, Tyler Stevenson breaks the tie with this line drive that clears the wall. With this solo shot, this brings the score to 2-1 Reds. Hopefully they don't blow this game like they did in Game 2. Which they don't, because in the bottom of the ninth, Nick Senzel catches this routine fly ball to end the game. Reds win, 2-1. We start Game 4 in the top of the fourth, where the Braves pull off this beautiful double play to end the inning. We move on to the bottom of the fifth, where Diarnod singles to drive in the runner on third. This gives the Braves a 1-0 lead. In the top of the sixth, Tyler Naquin tells this ball to pack its bags because it's going on a trip. This moon ball of a no-doubter puts the Reds on the board. The score is 1-1. One one. In the bottom of the sixth, the Braves respond as Austin Riley sneaks one past Joey Votto, the drive-in Ronald Acuna from second, who reached on a double earlier in the inning. The Braves take the lead, 2-1. This is going to take us to the last highlight of the series, where Rosario hits a sack fly to drive in a runner. The Braves win the game and the series 3-1. Thank you so much for watching. Deuces.